what mentor or mentors along the way kind of got you kind of beginning to think like this, right? What, what mentor, what piece of advice or what mentor guided you to, 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 to start this company and to think like this? Well, so first of all, in my own writing, I don't write very often, but when I do, um, I tend to follow all the rules from this really old, I think a hundred year old book that's called the elements of style. Yeah. It's like less than 50 pages. It's tiny. And rule number one there is omit needless words. Yeah. Which is the most yeah. succinct way you can say that particular thing in itself. Right? Yeah. Uh, so I yeah, was I, a always... I was a I was a I double majored in journalism and economics, yeah. and um, so I, I actually have the Elements of Style book somewhere. Yeah. 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 I have two copies. I bought one for my wife, so because she's writing novels in her free time, and yeah. I wanted her to also have this. But in general, the most like most of the time in other web, what we're doing is aggregating other people's content. Right. We're not generally trying to write yet. We now have our own models that will write articles by themselves, but that will not be released for at least another few weeks. And when it does, it will probably be used by journalists to generate first drafts of things. Right. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't go directly to consumer. What we're doing for the consumer is we're helping them select from the best content written anywhere in the world right. and to skim through things quickly and select what they really want to read. And so Brevity so, is what we're selling, but we're not selling our own eloquence. It's brevity I, in other people's eyes. Totally, I get it. But who who along the way planted a seed for you, whether at, about this company, whether starting your own business, your entrepreneurial bug? Oh, entrepreneurial bug has been with me since I was 12 year old, uh, years old, right? I was dreaming of moving to the US and starting a company. I don't even remember who who the specific author was. There was probably a conglomeration of them, right? Some level of reading Jack London and like the unlimited frontiers of the of the West, where anybody can be whatever they can be, right? Some elements maybe of reading Ayn Rand because I was a teenager, right? Mm -hmm. And everybody reads Ayn Rand when he's a teenager. Um, some elements of just reading about Wall Street and having my mind blown yeah. by the oh. fact that this thing exists. Yeah. Right. Conf confessions of a speculator, I think. Uh, the, I don't remember who the author is from 1922. Um, that book really opened my mind to the possibility that business can bring. And so I've always been looking in this direction. I had to postpone it a little bit because the relocation to the US itself was done in a way that essentially forced me to work for the company that relocated me for a while. Yeah. But the day I got my green card, I announced I quit and I'm starting my own business. Um, that business, because I didn't know anything about running a company and turning it into a product company, it basically turned into code for hire, right? So yeah. yes, I, it was my own business, but I was just coding for other people. Yeah. So I went but, back to industry to learn, and then you know now I'm here. Now you're here. But but you bring up something interesting because um, I I have felt that reading um, has been there. There's so many mentors that I have but that I've never met. I don't think I ever will. I, I'd like to. Of, of books I've read of, of theirs, of articles I've read of theirs, of podcasts that I've listened to um, of them. And they can, you know, it's, you know, you can get a mentor for $4.95 to $9.95 by just reading their book or listening to it on Blinkist if you don't have time. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of reading and, uh, and I'm glad you brought that up. 